So in this tutorial what we're going to show is how to take an object that you've textured in Mari, export the object out as a Lembic using Cinema 4D, and then bring that all into Katana along with the textures and light your scene and render it with Pixar Render Man. Okay, so here I am in Mari here, and I've got this creature model loaded that comes with the Mari example files. And if you have the Mari example files, you'll have this Mari files, and this is the geometry, the creature load geometry that's in here. And I've also attached the textures from the baked maps final here. So these are also loaded in and applied to this model inside of Mari. If we switch to the UV, we can see we've got five UDIMs here and the color channel to color images on each of the appropriate UDIMs. So the first thing we need to do uh, to get this to Katana is we need to actually turn it into a Lembic file. And to do that, we're going to use Cinema 4D. So load up Cinema 4D here. This is R19. And all I'm going to do here is drag and drop in that geometry file. Click OK. Now I don't want to actually have this as separate objects here, so what I'm going to do is just delete all those materials, select all these, right click, connect objects and delete, bring it out of that group and rename it as creature. And that's all I'm going to do here. Now I'm just going to export this out to Alembic. So I'm going to go File, Export as Alembic, and I'm going to export it to Export it to Katana Creature under Creature Loader ABC, just right at the top of that same file. Let's go yes. And we're leaving the scale as one because this object is actually already quite small itself and it'll be loading it to Katana quite fine. Let's click OK. And that's all we need Cinema 4D for. And I'm going to jump into Katana and I'm going to load in that object and apply the textures. Now I'm going to work through this first phase of getting the object in and getting a rendering going quite quickly. If you need to follow along, you can do so by watching some of the other previous tutorials in the Katana series. Um, so I'm going to just really motor through this just to get things going. So first I need to load in this file. So it's creature low. I need a camera. Merge node. Drag those into the merge node. I need a render settings. Okay, PR man global statements. Okay, renderer. Now I also like to turn on the incremental under hider in the PR man global statements. Need lighting, gaffer three. Under lighting, I'll add a dome light. Dome light. I'll just leave that as the defaults. And I also need to make sure that my camera is looking at the object. So let's make sure we select our camera there. Let's expand it so we can see it in the viewport. And I'll just position it. And now we should be able to get a preview render from this. Let's go to our monitor. Drag that in. And there's our image there. We want to actually maybe see the dome light in the background as well. So we'll just go to the dome light. And we will turn on visibility to camera, yes. And we'll just do fine final render on this just to see what it looks like. we can see it on a white background. So now we need to add the material to it. So this is where we're going to slow down a bit. So first I'm going to add a network material. And I'm going to attach that to the merge here. Next I'm going to add a PR man shading node. And on the shading node I'm going to add a type Pixar Disney. And on the network material I'm going to add a terminal VXDF. I'm going to attach that output to the BXDF. And then I now need to, this is where the texturing bit comes in. I'm now going to add a, another PR man shading node. And this one is going to actually be a PXR texture. Now 
and we're going to get the RGB result from that. We're going to apply it to the base color of the of this one here, which we will just call um, PSN creature. We'll call this one NM creature, and we'll call this one up here PSN creature textures. Now this one here needs to have a file name that will be used for the ptex textures, uh, not ptex, for the textures. So if we remember over here, we have our files and we have our textures in this finals maps directory. Now Fixar Man doesn't load in TIFF files. You need to convert your TIFF files all to .txt files. So to do that, you can do that currently. The only way I know at the moment is just doing it using a com com the command line tool txmake. So this is a bit tedious. So this is where writing a good pipeline comes in. If you've got a studio, you need a tool that's going to automatically uh, convert your TIFFs to text files so you can use it in the whole pipeline process with uh, Pixar Render Man and Katana. So I did this manually. So you can see I've got my program files, Pixar Render Man Pro Server, directory in the bin, and you've got txmake. And I passed in the first parameter, which is the first texture, dot tiff. And the second parameter is the is the resulting texture that you want, which is a dot text file. And I kept the same naming convention, color dot one zero zero one dot text. So you got the UDIM number there. And I did that for four files here, because there's actually four in that Mari file. Uh, four different uh, textures. You've got texture this one here, one zero zero two, one zero zero three. 1001, actually there's 5, and then there's a 1012, 1012, and um, 1012, and that's actually the eyeball, so it's just a very tiny texture um, used to texture the eye. And then we get the text files coming in here. So that's the command you need to run, just TX make, and that's kind of, you put your paths in, and that's what your final file is going to be. So once you've run that, that's what you'll get in your directory. Now you just need to load one of those into the file name up here. So I'm going to grab the first one and uh, just drag and drop that in. Oops, you can't drag and drop. So I'll just browse for it. And yeah, that's under the baked maps, final maps. And we're going to choose the first one, 1001.txt. Accept. So it comes in here as our file name. But we don't want to use this 1001. We want to let the the pixel texture shader node, we want to let it choose the correct one. So we let that do that by going underscore map ID. So we replace the number with map ID. So uh, Renaman is going to come in and it's going to find this here that it has this map ID and it's going to replace it with the appropriate numbers. So it's going to search for it based on what the UV coordinates are on the object, this object here. And we'll just also set the atlas style here to Udim Mari, since that's what we're actually using. And we're good to go there, really. So that is our textures loading in, being piped through the color to the base color of this Pixar Disney uh, BXDF. And that comes out to the creature for the network material. And the last thing to do is we need to assign this to the actual objects itself. So to do that, we use a material assign. Just drop that in here. And we're going to apply going to apply the material. Drag and drop that into here to our creature. We can drag that into our statement here. So if all goes well, that should actually just render out the result. And there we have it. We've applied the textures to our model, and it's been rendered correctly using Pixar's Render Man. And if we want, we can just have a look at the UVs under here. For our model, you can see that the UVs there were correct and the result 
is looking okay. And it's pretty washed out there, but if we wanted, we could turn on the interactive live render, and we could start playing around and setting some of the parameters to make this look a little bit better. But that will be another tutorial. So this tutorial, all we did is really we covered is we showed that you had the object in Mari, and showed how to load that into Cinema 4D, export it as an Alembic file, bring that into Katana, and set up the scene so you can use the textures. And then I showed you how to convert the textures using TX Make to convert them TIFF to .txt. And then the important part was to use this PXR texture and apply that map ID in here to make sure that Pixar uh, Render Man can actually pick up the correct map for the correct UDIM in your object. And you set that value there as well. So that's really it. That's how you would go about importing textures and using them on your model. Now in a pipeline, you would have someone who was using Mari and they would just um, come up and they would export out those flattened channels again and then you'd come over, run some process to automatically do this conversion for you once those textures change and then they would just show straight up in your katana scene immediately and you wouldn't have to do anything. So you look there first and can sit here and start working with this scene and the textures can just update all the time if they need to be and um, they don't need to worry about it. Once this is done, you don't need to worry about those textures anymore. And in fact, the person could come in and start remodeling this, and then the Mari artist could come in and start repainting it, and everything would just flow through. Okay, so we're going to leave that there for now, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.